Hey, what's going on guys? This is Bryce Lewis back with a few more things about Excel. This time we're going to talk about how to get uh, words into uh, your cells with formulas. Uh, this is useful for formatting for uh, instances where uh, maybe you want uh, something to say uh, RPE 8 in a cell or maybe you want something to say um, a certain load and you want to actually use formulas in that cell. So there's a few ways of going about this. Um, and we're going to talk about a few cases where we're using custom formatting and a few cases where we talk about uh, things to do inside a formula bar. So let's get to it. Um, of course, if I wanted RPE in this cell, there's a few ways I can write things. I can say RPE 8 and I have an RPE there. Uh, another way I can do it is I can say uh, at 8. Problem with saying at eight is that uh, the at symbol is actually associated with uh, formulae. So uh, what we need to do is we want a single quotation mark in front of this. We'll tell it that anything following that is to be treated as text. So this will allow me to enter uh, an at eight symbol. So that's one way of going about something like this. But let's say I wanted to attach a label. Let's say I wanted to actually put a formula in here. And this would be kind of more uh, representative when we're talking about load. Let's say I wanted the load to be determined by a one rep max. So here we're actually building a formula. Yeah. Let's pretend I have a squat training max. And let's say that squat training max is in this cell and we call it 440. So we're going to be basing some loads off of percentage in this example. So uh, we've done this before equals and I'm just going to reference this cell equals H9 times in this case 0.07. Okay, great. So 70% of 440 is 308. Remember, we can use the M round formula to make this an even uh, number that they can actually load on the barbell. So let's go ahead and do that now as well. M round, open parentheses. There we have our formula, and let's round to the nearest five in this case and close that formula off. Um, now I can also add uh, a label to this, pounds, uh, and we'll do this two different ways. So let me first copy this down to uh, a few different cells. Uh, these cells obviously are referring to this cell, this cell, and this cell because I forgot to put in uh, absolute references versus relative cell references. So we can go ahead and fix that by adding these dollar signs here to only refer to the cell H9 as I copy it. There we go. So uh, now I can go in here, maybe I want to put in 80% for this one, 85% for the next one, and 95%. Um, so just an example of how we can load things. Now, uh, let's talk about how we're going to add labels to this. It's pretty straightforward. All we're going to do is modify this formula after the equal sign, so within the formula. Uh, and we can put it after this by linking together with an AND symbol. So the AND symbol, now I'm opening up a double quote and I'm going to type in uh, space, lbs dot for pounds, and close that off. Okay, so now it says 310 pounds. Um, because I've got uh, this and symbol and I've linked it to some text here. So this and uh, open quotation, put in your text and close your quotation. So I can put this at the beginning and I can do the same thing, do, close, and so now I can add some text at the beginning have a uh, formula, calculated formula in a cell and have it still be something that I can go in and edit. Maybe I want to change this to 80% and now it still changes it and I've got some words there. So it allows us a little bit more flexibility to work within a cell uh, and get some custom formatting that looks really nice. Um, let's get rid of this do at the beginning and keep our value there. There's another way of doing this uh, and the other way is using custom formatting. So let's click the cell and we can either press uh, Apple or Control 1, or we can go up to Format, Cells here. And we want to look in the number. So this will allow us to do a bunch of things with formatting. We haven't talked really about the power of formatting, um, but there's lots of things we can do. It's we can make it, force it to put a specific number of decimal places in a cell. We can make it put a dollar sign in front of the cell if we know that we're talking about currency. Uh, we can even change the currency symbol here. We can go into accounting as well. We can make it a date so that it will format our cells 
as a specific date. Um, this is convenient as well. Uh, we can make it a time, we can make it a percentage, um, we can make it a fraction, etc. We're going to be going down here to custom formatting. And if you'll scroll all the way down, you'll see all these different kinds of custom formatting. Why does all this stuff look so garbled? Well, um, I suggest you have a read on this Excel file that gives you kind of a cheat sheet of how to use some of these custom formats here. Um, these are referring to uh, ways of formatting numbers. Uh, this is ways of formatting things to look like time. Uh, and these are different random date formats. Um, so as you go through here, uh, these ones you can also format things with specific colors. So make something red in certain cases. Uh, we're going to go down here and we're going to add a custom format here. And we're going to type in a number. Zero, in our case, will represent a number. We're going to open quote and we're going to put LBS just like before. And close quote. And this should work for us. There we go. So now, um, it's not even built into the formula. We just applied a custom format. So this is another way of doing it if you have maybe uh, something that you want to track a, a lot of different things. So we've used it on our startup sheet here uh, to make it say kilocalories here for calories uh, and also to add the G for grams so that if I put in uh, 240, it will automatically add my G for grams and uh, kcal for kcal. So we have numbers with context. Um, this allows us to continue to work with these numbers if we need to factor them into a certain formula, um, but also have them uh, look nice on the page. All right, going back here, uh, so we have a few things there. That was our example as far as body weight goes. Um, let's do one as far as starting weight here. Maybe I have a certain amount of uh, fluid intake, and I want to base this off of someone's starting body weight. So um, maybe for total example, we're going to divide this cell by four to determine the athlete's uh, total amount of liquid they should be drinking. So 220 equals the cell divided by four. And let's pretend this is ounces. So let's go up in here and, and start to use some of what we know. I can say and open quote ounces and close. So maybe I want them taking 55 ounces of water, which is uh, not a lot, but there it is. Uh, and starting way here, and I can make this say a few different things. But in this case, let's go back up to that custom formatting. I'm going to press Apple 1 right now. And we go to custom formats, and let's go put in a custom format. So instead of uh, 0 pounds, let's call this one 0.0. .0. We'll force it to put in a single decimal place, as you can see in the sample up here. Um, and we're also going to add the formatting here, and we're going to say, actually, let's put it at the beginning. So let's say start weight close and let's also make sure we put a space after this that's better so you can see the sample this looks really nice and let's click OK so that way I won't need to have another cell up here that references anything it just says start weight and I can go ahead and just type in here uh, 500 200 and you can see that the custom formatting still applies there that's a really nice feature. Um, and this formula will still apply and still take reference from this one because uh, it, it really only sees this number up here. And we've applied the custom formatting to see what the cell actually looks like on the outside. Okay, so there you have it guys, a few different ways that we can uh, add text into cells and get a little bit more context to our numbers. Hope that helps, take care.